Okay, so I've actually decided against going over sort of pre-combined uh, right now because I need to sort of inform myself again of the topic to really go over it properly and uh, make sure I get it right uh, to match the, the, the quality of the rest of this tutorial. But uh, just to quickly say, it is something that you want to worry about. You know, there's, uh, especially for console, the, the performance hit is, you know, quite significant. They're, they're not going to have a fun time if you if you uh, uh, don't treat it as a, an important factor in your modding. So yeah, pre-combine and pre I'll definitely go over that at, 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 a, at a later date. I'll probably do a video and sort of slot it into the playlist after this video. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's go over Fallout 4 edit. Uh, you can pick it up from the Nexus, and uh, yeah, it's it's an ESP editor, kind of uh, kind of like Creation Kit, except it's third party and way more. Um, don't really want to say limited because it still does all the same stuff, but it, it loads really fast, and you can really quickly look through uh, what. The, yeah, the most useful feature about Fallout 4 Edit is the ability to see exactly what your plugin is changing about the game. To my knowledge, there's no way to actually do this in Creation Kit. You can't say filter by like, what am I adding or what am I changing? You can see the little asterisks next to entries that you've modified or uh, added, but yeah. Otherwise, you uh, you have to use XEdit or Fallout 4 Edit. So here we can actually see all of the, the, the different... Um, entries that we've added to the game via this ESP. Uh, oh yeah, before, I didn't say before when I when I actually, let's just do it again. So when I load Fallout 4 Edit, I right click and uh, select select none, so I'm just opening the hunting revolver. Uh, but if we were to load multiple ESPs, they would all turn up in this in this list. Uh, so yeah, these are these are all things that we've we've added. Now you're seeing some different colours here, and the yellow and green means that they're actual modifications to the the vanilla. So we see here we have the Fallout 4 ESM and then R ESP, and if we scroll down we should see yeah some places where it's yellow, which means there's been a, an actual change. And what I've done is I <laughs> purposefully messed up the uh, 44 uh, weapon entry a bit, so I, I deleted uh, two or two templates and uh, changed a few other things like yeah the damage and the on hit behavior. Um, so yeah, how do we actually go about undoing this and you know undoing the the accidental changes to the to the vanilla? All we do is we right click and hit remove. It'll give us a warning. Just hit yes. And then that removes it and we're then uh, clear. I've also accidentally made some modifications to the human uh, race subgraph data, which is very bad. That affects all humans in the game. <laughs> and there's a lot of those, so let's get rid of that. Same thing with power armor race. So this one's fully green, it's not yellow. Not 100% on why that is, but still we don't want to make any changes to it, so let's also remove it. And then let's just check for anything else that might have been modified. So we have a change to the 44 receiver, probably when I was creating the O mods I accidentally modified that. Yeah, we got a keyword mapping entry, which we do not want to modify, that's the vanilla 44 entry. Okay, and then we come to the cell. Just close all these. So the cell, um, yeah, we have Kellogg's house and the temporary objects. Now I did go in and actually move around a lot of <laughs> a lot of the objects. Maybe uh, a few too many for <laughs> than I really needed to do. But you can see here that uh, the, these are the two objects which we added: the suitcase and the sequoia. And these are the other objects which I actually moved, and uh, because they're yellow, that means I've I've modified the position. Yeah, the position has been modified slightly. So yeah, once again, you just remove. What if I can batch remove? Yes, I can. Nice. 
and then all we do is control s and save our changes you don't want the creation kit open while you're doing this stuff i think it locks the file uh, so the yeah, you don't you don't want to have two two programs with the same ESP loaded and making changes and saves to it. Probably go wrong. Uh, but yeah, there is one thing to mention real quick. This uh, previs files timestamp. If this ever changes, then you know something has gone wrong. And I think uh, with the with the pre combined, and here we can actually see the the physics references. And yeah, here we go. Combined meshes. So if, if you ever see any yellowness here, that means that the pre-combine has broken and it will no longer uh, factor into the performance and improve performance. Instead, you'll get reduced performance. So yeah, best to do your own research about how to actually fix this. But in my experience, just deleting all the accidental changes you've made to the scene and then actually editing this record so that it, it matches the original previous timestamp, I think generally uh, restores the pre-combined functionality. So yeah, we've saved and we can close full up for edit and now we've successfully uh, checked for any accidental vanilla overwrites in our ESP. Cool.